Hi you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video. It's a little bit, I wouldn't say actually it's different for me because I've taken you guys to Ikea before, but we're filming kind of like a whole separate Ikea shop with me and haul. I love watching these. It's one of those videos that I look up like in the YouTube search bar. I'm a very big like watch for my subscriptions kind of girl, but I love seeing what's new at Ikea every season. I love watching what's new at Ikea in the States versus in like the UK. And I figured as a Canadian, I would share what's new here because oftentimes we don't get things as quick as maybe people from the States do. Really enjoy Ikea. We have a lot from Ikea in our home. There's definitely things I've come to realize over the years that we like to get from Ikea and things that we don't, but we love a mixed style in this home of newer pieces with older vintage antique thrifted pieces. We literally have an Ikea sideboard right behind us. All of our curtains and curtain rods are from Ikea. We're just big fans. We did an Ikea kitchen in our old house and I'm really excited to just bring you guys along. But from the perspective of someone who's kind of on a budget and I am going in with a list of things to buy and I am not allowed. <laughs> To stray from that list this will give you guys some inspiration i know that when i watch these i feel like i never feel pressured to buy things from ikea like these shop with me videos never make me feel pressured to buy anything but they're just really nice to see what's new in store and actually visual and actually visually see it compared to the website so i'm really excited i'm hoping to go today but if i don't it'll be later this week i just kind of wanted to make sure i got the intro out of the way in case i did go today but I'm really excited. If you guys are new here, I would love it if you stuck around our little corner of the internet. My fiance and I are renovating a hundred year old home in the countryside. Last year, last fall, we sold our condo in the city, moved to the countryside, which has always been my dream. I grew up in the country and I just absolutely love it here. And so we are tackling this home little by little on a budget. And I share a lot on Instagram and TikTok about like home projects on a budget and just kind of like everyday home body life here on YouTube. And I would love it if you stuck around. And if you guys like these videos, maybe I can do them like once a quarter, once a season. Super excited. It'll probably be voiceover just cause our local Ikea or like the Ottawa Ikea is very loud and they play a lot of like loud music. So I probably have to do it voiceover style, but I'm really excited to see what's new in terms of some things that we're looking for. I for sure need to get new measuring cups. <laughs> and I love the Ikea stainless steel ones. Curtains and curtain rods are kind of like the main priority. We have the like plain Jane. We have like plain Jane black curtain rods and white curtains all around our home and we love them. I think Ikea curtains are one of the most underrated things ever. I have tried to order higher end curtains. I've tried Amazon curtains I've, and nothing to me compares to Ikea curtains. For the price, the quality is insane. And like I said, we have them all around our home. We just have a few spots that we need to put them up, but because this is a bigger house, we've just been doing them little by little, like buying two or three at a time. Kind of high up on my list today, as well as some wine glasses or cocktail glasses that are bigger. Matt and I are really big Aperol <laughs> spritz people and we just love a good cocktail. And I find that our wine glasses are just like a little too small to add ice in. So I love to find like a bigger, wine glass really like a round big wine glass so those are kind of some of the things i am looking for i also love talking about personal finance on this channel and i have overcome quite the impulsive spending tendencies in the last few years and ikea is truly one of my biggest downfalls if i'm being honest just because everything is so affordable and it's just like right there for you to grab so ikea is definitely not the easiest place for me to go but it's really good for me to practice those kind of sticking to a budget and sticking to a list it's a good spot for me to practice that. So I'm really excited to take you guys along. I also wanna look at the dressers that they have just because we do need one for our bedroom. However, I'm still holding out that we can thrift or find one um, on Facebook Marketplace, but we've been looking for months and we haven't been able to find like the perfect one. And at this point we really just need a dresser. So we're gonna kinda of just see what they have. And then I also just kind of want to get some inspiration. I love walking around the upstairs where they have all the rooms just because we are um, redoing our kitchen, like DIY ourselves, we're refinishing our cabinets. And then our dining room has been like the biggest struggle to kind of see the vision come to life. I want to get some inspiration for that. And of course our bedroom, because we are upgrading to a king finally, which is so exciting, but we are going to get a new bed. We're just going to do honestly like a Wayfair or Amazon, like very budget friendly bed. A bed frame is something that I'm just like not willing to spend a lot of money on. I'll spend good money on a mattress but not a bed frame and i'd love to just check out and see what they have that's new in like the duvet duvet cover section we love ikea pillows um and i really love their sheets and duvets they're the type that like the more you wash them the softer they get so i'd love to see what's new and get some inspiration i feel like they do really good layering of colors and patterns on their model beds 
I really love that as someone who's trying to incorporate more color into her home, especially her bedroom. Without further ado, let's jump into it. You guys will either see me in a different outfit or today. Uh, I don't know right now, but you guys will know in the next clip. But anyways, uh, also I'm just like a very chatty gal here. I know that's not everyone's thing, but just to preface, just a warning, because sometimes new people come and they say I'm too chatty, but I'm just, it's like a best friend FaceTime vibe around here. So hope you guys enjoy. Let's go to Ikea. And on a little secret that the best time to go to Ikea is during the week on a lunch break, like on a Friday or a Monday. I of course had some returns to do. I feel like I always do. And then we headed up to the showroom and I was really excited to see if they had changed any of the rooms up since last time I'd been here. I found this trash can. It was $1.99 and I thought it would make a great planter. You could drill some holes in the bottom. Super affordable, super cute little planter for, I don't know, outside or inside. So I wanted to share that. I loved all the green in this showroom. I thought it was beautiful. Once again, just trying to get inspiration for the dining room and the kitchen. I loved that they did wallpaper. I mean, I don't think we would do that, but I loved the wallpaper and I really loved the mug rack that they had i find a lot of them hang from the top of the cabinet and i really like that this one hung from the wall it felt really sturdy so i wanted to share that with you guys because i'll probably pick one up it was the hull tarp one they had a ton of couches on sale on clearance and i was so drawn to this pillow i loved the colors of it and anytime i see something i like i of course just like take a photo of it just that way i don't forget and i can pick it up in the market hall but yeah they had so many couches on sale this is the harlanda collection i'm not sure if they're getting rid of it but they had a ton of different styles they had the sectional model they had a chaise and it honestly just looked, well, I sat in it. It was really comfy and I was kind of considering um, like a couch. We don't need one anytime soon, but I really liked the style of it. I love Ikea blankets. They're great if you have like a puppy or a dog in the crate. They're nice and lightweight. I also just like them as an outdoor blanket when we're on the patio. They had these armrest trays, which I thought would be a really great gift for Father's Day or Christmas, a birthday. But I was like, wait, Father's Day is coming up. This would make a great like gag gift for a dad. And I honestly thought about getting one because our couch, we don't have armrests. This room, every time I take you guys, I tell you it reminds me of Harry Potter. I think it's the books in the book or in the fireplace, but I just love how moody and cozy this room is. I had also never seen this rug before and I thought it was really beautiful. I was kind of shocked it was from Ikea. I feel like it's not their normal style. They're really getting into the nice oriental vintage style rugs. These baskets, I mean, I feel like Ikea is really great for storage. You can't go wrong with any of their baskets. I really liked the size of this one. And I'm just really happy to see that Ikea is venturing into like the wood tones. I feel like a lot of their coffee tables, side tables are white and black and I loved the wood tone of the Stockholm collection. You guys will see more of it. They had tons of great chairs. I thought this would make a really cute office chair if you had like a nice antique vintage wood desk they had tons of wicker chairs i'm not sure if these are for indoor or outdoor but they're new i loved them and this one on the end caught my eye it feels like something that would be a lot more expensive and i really just loved the look of it for like a front room or even like a patio but once again they had so many different styles of wicker chairs then i loved this like glass bookcase almost what do they even call it i don't even know but it was stunning i loved the like black brown wood color of it the gold knobs same with this i loved the sideboard they had some really great sideboards and buffets if you're looking for some i was really impressed they just they don't feel like ikea you know what i mean and I loved this one as well. They actually had a model one out. Um, this is the Stockholm sideboard, that collection I was just sharing with you guys. I love the color of it. I love the style. It's a very modern kind of looking furniture, which I feel like Ikea is venturing into different kind of types um, of home decor, which I love. This one was absolutely stunning. I loved the black with the light wood and it had so much storage. I accidentally booped the booped it on the other side so much storage in it hidden storage which i absolutely loved i i really really loved this piece once again was just trying to get some inspiration for our dining room i didn't love the gray table but i do really like to see how they repurpose furniture in other ways which i i love that they share that you can use their furniture in multiple ways loved this bench i thought it'd be really cute with some books underneath i'm just realizing now the camera is so shaky and i'm so sorry love this room it was bright but also moody but also cozy and i really really enjoyed the green elements of it and kind of how neutral it was this is my favorite table if we were to buy a new table it would for sure be this one i love the combination of the wood with the black chairs it's what we're going for in our dining room and this is the monitor stand i have i always get asked about it so i share it every time we come here it's the elevin monitor stand it's great it has a little drawer in it this is my favorite room in the showroom because it's so genius it's meant to be like a textile seamstress room but then it shows all the textiles and pillow covers that you can buy which i just whoever thought of this room is so smart i love it it just it just feels so cozy and cute this was a really nice desk i love that it had like a little peekaboo drawer in it the Rid Ridspo desk 
really like the wood tones on this and I had never seen the hems desk before I don't know if it's new I've literally never seen it before but I loved this desk I only, honestly contemplated saving up for it because I was like I really love this I loved that it had the light wood but then it also had the white on it the contrast they also had this monitor stand or laptop stand this kitchen is new it's stunning I love the floral wallpaper I love the wallpaper trend I don't think it's practical with a sink and splashing water but it's very beautiful and I also really liked these floating shelves I feel like I would do something like that in our kitchen once again I just love this kitchen it's just so classic but so beautiful and this one had the funkiest tile I loved it we have butcher block now so I feel like this was really great inspiration for me and they had some really great faucets as well I wish that their gold faucets just weren't so cheap looking like it just looks kind of like cheapy gold in my opinion it's not very brassy but I do love the style of it it's kind of what we're going for this is one of my favorite sections of Ikea, right off the kitchens where I have all the drawer organizers, the cabinet handles. It's just like one of my favorite spots to look around. These are one of my favorite baskets for organization. They are great. They're stackable. They're sturdy. They have a little lip at the front so you can kind of see what's in it. Love them. Tons of great dining table chairs. I really liked this one. Um, I don't think it's new, but I really liked it. I sat in it. It wasn't super comfortable. This one looked new to me. I hadn't seen it before. It was pretty interesting with the black like waffle woven seat. Pretty comfy. Uh, this bed. Oh my goodness. I love this duvet cover so much. I love that Ikea is really leaning into like the contrasting patterns and colors. I never would have thought to put blue and yellow together, but it worked so well in here. And it almost looks like they have linen now, which I was looking for. Loved the shower curtain. We kind of have a similar bathtub. I want to paint it black. So I thought that this would be a really nice shower curtain. And I loved the pattern. Once again, just love all the patterns on the beds and i really wanted this bed however it doesn't come in a king which is kind of sad but that's the vibe we're going for they had so many great new duvet covers and quilts i was just in heaven honestly the berg palm was one of my favorites the striped one and this felt once again like a linen material i don't know what it is i'll have to look up what this is on the site but it felt like linen and it looked like linen then i took a look at the dressers like i said i was looking for a dresser for our closet like a taller skinnier one and i really liked this one but i wanted to just sit on it for a while before buying it then they had some really nice like hat racks coat racks but i thought that these would be really cute actually for tote bags um in your like entryway just saying hello we walked by the children's section and then i saw this rug which was so beautiful and i can't tell if it's from ikea because i did not see it anywhere but it was in a nursery showroom and it was just absolutely stunning then we head to the market hall which is of course the best spot and i feel like you either go left or right when you first enter i always go right where the like aprons are mixing bowls ikea mixing bowls are great they're super affordable and honestly they last pretty pretty long they're pretty durable i love the white ones so much they always have really cute aprons on sale as well I mentioned i was going in for the measuring cups and the measuring spoons so i made sure to pick those up they had bread bowls which is awesome if you're getting into bread making these are the best candies in the world thank me later they're so good i love these kind of glass jars they'd be great for like nespresso pods or candy then it was off to the glassware section where i was on the hunt for the perfect cocktail glass i liked these beer ones however i wanted something that was a little thicker these shot glasses are great once again just was looking at some beer glasses and then i really liked these but the stem was a little too short on them for me so i kept looking i love these glasses but like what can you fit in them then found these ribbed glasses how many times can i say glasses so beautiful and i just love everyday drinkware from ikea these are the ones i ended up getting loved all the colors for spring and summer and then i also took a look at their tablecloths i think they're really great quality for an affordable price great for outdoor indoor colorful placemats for the summer i just i was loving all the color that they had going on and then one of the best sections is the pillow cover section because they're just so affordable they had all these beautiful ruffle ones i found the ones that i saw at the beginning i put them back i had self-control i really didn't need them they were so freaking cute they had all these floral ones as well i just think they have patterns colors designs for literally everybody loved the ruffle ones again i love the neutral ones they had daisies they had the same one i had but a base stripe and then they also just had more floral ones which i just i think they're just beautiful these are the curtains i always get so i stocked up on those and then i was trying to figure out which curtain rods we had at home i just ended up going in my order history on the ikea app to figure it out then i was looking at some of these more colorful curtains for my office maybe just for like a little pop of color i ended up falling in love with this pair right here it was like a blue gray pair and i thought it was really beautiful it was kind of light 
not too too dark and it'd be a nice pop of color but then these these are brand new and they honestly look a little bit more expensive than they are like this looks like a little bit of a nancy myers home coastal grandma vibe i think they're absolutely beautiful Here's what they look like in the container. And then I ended up looking at duvet covers because that's my weakness in life. I love the Burke Palm striped ones. I believe these are the reversible ones, which is great. So one side is a solid color, one side is striped. And I was so tempted to bring a new pair home, but I didn't. I didn't need them until we got our new bed. These ones were really fun for the summer, a nice bright blue green. And I also really love the other Berg Palm color with like a white and gray stripe. This bed was exactly what we're going for in the house. So I loved getting to see kind of my vision come to life with the different colors, with the black bed frame. Absolutely stunning. This is one of my favorite rugs from Ikea. I think we'll end up doing it in our bedroom. I like that it has the black stripe in it, which would really lean well if you had black furniture. This rug was so cute. It would be really just adorable in like a kid's playroom or maybe like a bedroom. I just thought it was really fun. They had a lot of different fun patterns for rugs right now that I had never seen before. This one was a runner, but I loved the blue and the orange together. Some fun colored towels for summer. This would also be really good for tote bags if you had a small space. They had these really nice striped garment bags, which I had never seen before. And then these storage cases, which were great because they had a cover on top. They'd be great for like winter, summer clothes, swapping them out because they weren't super tall and bulky. New garment bags. And then they had a new reusable bag this one is not as wide but it's taller and then they have this one which would be great if you're like going to the lake or the beach for the day they have these really cute striped ceramic dog bowls i almost got them honestly they seem to be really nice quality super cute i honestly don't love ikea prints but these were cute the herb and vegetable garden this is my dream mirror i look at it every time i come and then i never buy it but i really like it i'm just trying to find the right space for it in our home but i feel like if you rub and buffed this it could be a really nice like antique brass color these are the signature Ikea planters. They're the best. Also had a really nice raised garden bed if you're looking for one. And then some windowsill planters that I really enjoyed the color of. And that was our Ikea trip. So I'm really excited to give you guys a haul. It's not like crazy exciting if I'm being honest. I did like a big stock up on curtains and curtain rods. So I picked up three of these curtain rods these are the beck rafta this is what we currently have in our front room i can like pan over a shot of what it looks like they're just super simple i don't really need fancy curtains or curtain rods honestly it's like 24.99 then on the topic of curtains i picked up four of the hilja curtains which are my favorite they are a light filtering curtains they're not sheer but they're not light blocking which i really really like they were on sale for less than $25 Canadian. They were like $10 off, which is amazing. You can't beat that price. So picked up four packs and each pack has the two curtains in it. Three for the curtain rods that I bought and then I have one pair for my office. Then I'm so excited I found some. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I really wanted to get some bigger wine glasses for when we have like Aperol or honestly, I just like to stock up on Ikea wine glasses when we go because we tend to like break them in the dishwasher. We drop them and they're just relatively really affordable there. And I like that you can always find them again i feel like when we get wine glasses at like winners marshall's tj maxx sometimes you don't find them again and you can't find you know replacements so i really like just getting them at ikea so i got these six pack of this store scent these are red wine glasses i believe i didn't realize that you were supposed to like red wine and white wine had different glasses like i can't believe i just said that i'm kind of embarrassed that i didn't know that but i'm gonna use these for cocktails i'm pretty sure and i actually have a brand deal coming up with aperol spritz which i'm so excited about so i wanted to make sure i had some nice fresh glasses for that and i just think they're the perfect size i love them they're not too too oversized but they're not too small this is what they look like and yeah i believe these are for red wine so of course we will use them for red wine but my vision was to use these for aperol spritz i feel like they're a good size to fit a lot of ice in there because when you use a regular wine glass i think i just can't get a lot of ice in there so really happy about those i said you guys this is not an exciting haul i did want to pick up a duvet cover they had some really nice ones and they were really soft they were like a jersey material almost however we are upgrading our bed we're getting a king so i just like wait get the new bed see what the vibe is before i upgrade but I definitely got some really good ideas while we were there because if you guys like just saw in the shop with me portion there was a black metal railed bed that had the exact kind of like vibe we were going for with like the blue and white floral and it was just it was so nice so that was definitely the vibe we were going for and it was nice to just kind of like visually see it and see that I could get the items at Ikea so once we get our new bed we'll definitely go back and probably pick up a new duvet cover 
Guys, I also just picked up a new set of the stainless steel measuring cups and spoons. We had a set already, but we use them for the dogs because they're on two different foods. So, And I wanted to get a set for us because we have a measuring cup set right now from TV Max. However, I didn't think this through when I bought them, but they're wood here and they're not actually gold. They're just like a gold like covered silver so they're kind of starting to wear and you can't put them in the dishwasher because they're wood I wanted to get something like cheap easy that we could use and put in the dishwasher and whatnot so picked those up love these picked up another reusable bag i love these these are the best for like going to the lake going to costco dropping off donations they're just like the perfect size and that's my ikea haul like i said it's not overly exciting but i'm really proud of myself because i went in for what i needed and that was it sometimes i can find ikea to be super overwhelming and my budget just like goes out the window but i was really proud of myself i was really good at this time at just like sticking to what i needed not going overboard and really happy with the things that i got but let me know if you guys enjoyed this maybe we can do like a seasonal ikea shop with me i thought that could be really fun i don't know i feel like i always include the shop with me's in the vlog so it's kind of fun to change it up and make it its own video hope you guys enjoy love you guys so much and i'll talk to you guys next time bye